The skies above Taranga darkened as a massive plume of volcanic ash originating from the volatile and ever-active slopes of Wakari, White Island, drifted ominously towards the mainland. The once clear skies were now shrouded in a thick grey haze, casting an eerie shadow over the landscape below. This ominous cloud, a stark reminder of the raw and untamed power that lies beneath the surface of our planet, brought with it not just a visual spectacle but also a wave of disruption and uncertainty. The sheer scale and intensity of the ash cloud were a testament to the formidable forces at play beneath the Earth's crust. Air travel, a cornerstone of modern connectivity and global movement, was immediately and severely impacted. The ash cloud's presence in the atmosphere posed a direct threat to the safety of flights, leading to widespread cancellations and delays. Flights were grounded, schedules thrown into disarray, and passengers left in a state of limbo. Airports, usually bustling with activity, became scenes of frustration and confusion as travellers sought information and alternative arrangements. The source of this aerial disruption was a series of minor yet potent eruptions on Wakari, a volcano with a fiery and tumultuous history. These eruptions, though not catastrophic, were powerful enough to send vast quantities of ash into the sky. Scientists, closely monitoring the island's every tremor and exhale, observed a new vent spewing forth increased volumes of volcanic ash. Their vigilant efforts were crucial in understanding the evolving situation and predicting potential future activity. This ash, composed of fine particles of pulverized rock and glass, poses a significant hazard to aircraft, potentially damaging engines and hindering visibility. The microscopic shards can cause severe abrasion to aircraft surfaces and clog engines, making it a perilous challenge for aviation safety. A Waka'ari White Island a brooding presence just off the coast of New Zealand's North Island, stands as a testament to the raw power of nature. This island is no stranger to such displays of geological unrest, having captivated and intimidated onlookers for centuries. This active volcano, a constant reminder of the Earth's fiery heart, has a long history of eruptions, some gentle, others explosively violent. Each eruption tells a story of the immense forces at play beneath the Earth's crust. The recent activity, while concerning, falls within the expected behaviour pattern for this restless giant. The island's frequent rumblings and emissions are a stark reminder of its volatile nature. Scientists at GNS Science, tasked with keeping a watchful eye on New Zealand's geological wonders, have been diligently documenting Wakari's every move. Their work is crucial in understanding and predicting the volcano's behaviour. The emergence of a new vent, a fiery fissure in the Earth's crust, is a significant development, indicating a shift in the volcano's internal plumbing. This new vent could potentially alter the landscape and the way the volcano releases its energy. The increased output of ash from this vent is a clear sign that Wakari is in a heightened state of activity. This heightened activity demands continuous monitoring and analysis to ensure the safety of those who live in its shadow and those who are drawn to its formidable presence. The impact of Wakari's ash cloud on air travel was immediate and significant. Airlines, prioritizing the safety of their passengers and crew, made the difficult decision to cancel or delay flights in and out of Toranga and Rotorua airports. Air New Zealand, a major player in the region's aviation network, found itself grappling with the fallout from the ash cloud. At least 10 flights were canceled, leaving passengers stranded and travel plans in tatters. Three other flights experienced delays adding to the uncertainty and frustration. Air Chathams, another airline operating in the area, found itself monitoring the situation closely, particularly for flights scheduled to land in Wakatane, a town situated perilously close to Wakari. While airlines grappled with the logistical nightmare of disrupted flights, passengers were left stranded, anxiously waiting for updates on their travel plans. The uncertainty was palpable in the air. Meanwhile, meteorologists at MetService, New Zealand's meteorological service, were hard at work tracking the movement of the ash cloud. Their expertise and dedication were crucial in managing the crisis. Using sophisticated weather models and satellite imagery, they meticulously analyzed the data to predict the ash cloud's trajectory. They monitored the plume's progress, providing crucial information to aviation authorities and the public. 
These updates were vital for making informed decisions. Initially, winds carried the ash away from the mainland, offering a brief respite from the disruption. This temporary relief allowed some flights to resume. Clear skies over the mainland provided a stark contrast to the chaos caused by the ash cloud, highlighting the unpredictable nature of weather events. However, as is often the case with the fickle nature of weather, conditions changed rapidly. The wind direction shifted overnight, altering the course of the ash cloud. A northerly wind began pushing the ash cloud towards the eastern Bay of Plenty, posing a renewed threat to aviation and potentially affecting more regions. This shift meant that airplanes had to remain grounded and pilots had to stay updated with the latest weather reports. Met Services Advisory Centre, working tirelessly around the clock, ensured that no detail was overlooked. They kept the aviation industry informed about the evolving situation, providing real-time updates and forecasts, ensuring that airlines had the latest information to make informed decisions about flight safety was their top priority. The collaboration between meteorologists and aviation professionals was essential in navigating this challenging situation. As news of the ash cloud and its impact on air travel spread, a sense of unease settled over the region. However, amidst the uncertainty, emergency authorities were quick to reassure the public that the volcanic activity posed no immediate threat to those on the mainland. Lisa Glass, a spokesperson for Bay of Plenty Emergency Management, provided a calming voice in the midst of the disruption. She emphasized that Wakari, while currently in an extended period of activity, was behaving within its normal parameters. The recent eruptions, while visually dramatic, were not unusual for this particular volcano. Glass further assured the public that the likelihood of ash reaching the mainland in significant quantities was extremely low. In the wake of the ash cloud, misinformation like a virus began to spread, adding to the anxiety felt by some residents. One such rumor claimed that black ash had washed up on the shores of Papamoa Beach, a popular stretch of coastline. This alarming but entirely false report was quickly debunked by authorities. The substance mistaken for volcanic ash turned out to be a naturally occurring phenomenon related to sand erosion. Bay of Plenty Emergency Management moved swiftly to correct the inaccurate information, emphasizing the importance of relying on credible sources for updates on the situation. Transparency and accuracy, they stressed, were paramount in maintaining public trust and managing the situation effectively. After a period of disruption and uncertainty, the skies above Taranga began to clear as the ash cloud dissipated. Flights, grounded for what felt like an eternity to stranded passengers, were given the green light to resume operations. Air New Zealand, working diligently to clear the backlog of delayed flights and accommodate inconvenienced travellers, sprang back into action. The familiar roar of jet engines once again filled the air, a welcome sound signalling a return to normalcy. While the immediate crisis had passed, the experience served as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the vulnerability of human endeavours in the face of such forces. The ash cloud may have dissipated, but the memory of its disruptive visit lingered. While the skies above Tauranga returned to their usual azure hue, the threat from Wakari, though diminished, had not entirely vanished. The volcano, still restless, continued to rumble and vent, a constant reminder of its latent power. Scientists at GNS Science, their eyes fixed on the island's every twitch and tremor, maintained their vigilant watch. The recent eruption, a stark reminder of Wakari's unpredictable nature, served as a valuable opportunity to gather data and refine their understanding of this volatile volcano. The information gleaned from this event will undoubtedly prove invaluable in forecasting future eruptions and mitigating the risks associated with living in the shadow of such a powerful geological force. Wakari White Island, a place of both beauty and danger, holds a significant place in New Zealand's cultural and geological heritage. The island, shrouded in Maori legend and steeped in history, serves as a potent symbol of the raw power that lies at the heart of our planet. Its recent eruption, while disruptive, is but a single chapter in its long and storied past. For centuries, Maori have revered Wakari, 
recognizing its spiritual significance and harnessing its resources. European settlers, drawn to its otherworldly allure, established a short-lived sulfur mining operation on the island, a testament to human ambition and our enduring fascination with taming nature's untamed forces. The recent ash cloud, a disruptive but ultimately fleeting event, serves as a timely reminder of the immense power that lies beneath our feet. Wakari White Island, a majestic and volatile force of nature, demands our respect and vigilance. While we strive to understand and predict its behavior, we must also acknowledge the limits of our knowledge and the inherent unpredictability of the natural world. The skies above Toranga may be clear for now, but the lessons learned from this recent encounter with Waka'ari's fury will continue to shape our understanding of this awe-inspiring volcano and our place within the grand tapestry of the natural world. We are but temporary custodians of